Hey guys, this is Sarah with Pinocchio Chrysler and today I'm going to be taking you on a walk around on a pre-owned 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited in a beautiful granite paint coat. Under that hood it has a 3.6 liter V6 engine with your 8 speed automatic transmission. And as we're headed down the front you do have your automatic headlights, some nice chrome detailing on that front grille. And again as we're going down and then you do have your fog lights. As we're headed around the side you are going to be riding on a set of 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels with a set of Michelin Latitude tires with plenty of tread on them. You do also have disc brakes on all fours. And then as we're headed up the side, you do have some nice chrome detailing on that side mirror there with your side signal indicating light, and it does fold in or break away as well. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the keys, we'll head on inside and we'll keep looking around. Open us into this 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We do have our keyless entry remote start our powered lift gate and our panic button. I won't demonstrate that for you today, however, I will start it up. And we also have the proximity key, so instead of hitting the unlock button on the fob, all you have to do is walk up to the vehicle. The fob can be in your pocket, and you just have to grab the handle and it will unlock. Okay, so heading in on the driver's side now, if you can see there is some nice wood paneling insert here. You have some chrome detailing and you have some nice stitching as well. Your power locks, windows, and mirrors, and as we head down, you do have your memory seat settings there for the driver's seat, and then you have a compartment for storage with a drink holder. Coming in on the driver's side floor here, we do have some nice Jeep carpeted floor mats there to keep everything neat and tidy. And then as we head over to that driver's seat, you do have your power adjustable driver's seat that is leather and heated and very comfortable. I'm just gonna hop inside and we'll keep looking around. All right, so since I did use the remote start, it is a push button start, so you put your foot on the brake, press that button just to activate everything. And then having a look here at the steering wheel, you do have your nice Jeep emblem there on the steering wheel. And then you have some menu option arrows so that you can go through your menu options there and that nice LCD screen up in there. All kinds of settings up in there. Right, and back at the steering wheel here, you do have your Uconnect Bluetooth so that you can do all of your hands-free calling. And then on this side, you do have all of your cruise control settings and there is paddle shifters up at the top here. You do also have a nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. If you can see up there, you do have 45,770 kilometers on here. So if you talk to our finance team, they can let you know what kind of warranty remains and what can be added. All right, and as we head into the center here, you do have a nice LCD touch screen there. Touch everything. You do have your radio there with your AM, your FM, and your Sirius Satellite XM radio. You have media controls where you can connect a device like your phone or your iPod to listen to music. All your phone settings there for your hands free calling. It's acting me to, asking me to pair a phone. I'm going to say no because we'll leave that up to you. You have a compass in here and then you have all of your climate controls there. Again with your heated driver's seat, that heated steering wheel, and then your passenger heated as well. And then there's more there where you have some settings. As we head down, you do have your screen off and back button and your hazards. You have your volume and your tuner controls and then your dual split climate controls here as well. You have your back parking sensors there, your economy and your traction control. There is a compartment in here for storage and then you have an auxiliary USB SD card slot and a 12 volt plug. As we head down the center, there is two drink holders there and then you have your um, snow sand auto mud and rock modes there your four wheel low as well and your hill descent when you come to the center console here where you do have a compartment for storage inside and a deeper one down in there then if you bring your attention up to the roof now nice and sunny for you you do have a nice powered sunroof in here which you can open up for extra lighting or airflow and you can um control all that from up in here you have your universal garage door openers there and your back lift gate here there's also a nice little sunglasses holder all right, so let's head on into the back and we'll keep looking around. Okay, so heading okay, so heading in on the back now again, you do have that great styling on the doors here. You have your power window options and a compartment for storage in the door there. On the floor again, you do have your nice carpeted floor mats down in there. You have a holder on the back of the seat with some bag holders as well. And then if you have a look down in here, you have two USB ports, a 115 volt plug, and then your rear heated seats, which is great in the back. And again, you have leather interior in the back with seating for three, giving you seating for five all throughout. This does fold down acting as an armrest or two drink holders. And these seats are awesome. You do have a 60-40 split where they do fold down and you can lead into the back cargo area. As you can see on the back here, you do have all of your car seat anchors as well. Okay, so as we keep heading around, I did leave the keys inside the vehicle, but you can use that powered lift gate on the key fob, or you can just walk up to the vehicle, put your hand in there, and it will open up for you. 
And as we head into the back, you can see there's a nice big cargo area back in there. You do have a cargo cover here. You have some hooks on the side right here. Um, and then you also have a flashlight in here, which you can pull that out in an emergency or if you're just looking for something in the back. And you have a compartment down in there for storage. This does pull up and there's your spare tire underneath there as well. And on this side you do have a 12 volt plug. Sorry about that lady. 12 volt plug and a nice big speaker. Alright, so we'll close this back up. You can just push that button there. And since it is powered, it'll all close up for you. Very handy if your hands are full. Also on the back here, if you can see, you do have your back parking sensors and dual exhaust. Alright, so we'll keep coming around into this side. Again, that this uh, seat on this side is heated and you do have your compartment on the back of the seat there with some bag holders that nice carpeted floor mat and the seat does fold down as well if you're not needing any back passengers and it leads into that back cargo area giving you tons of room again you have your power window options on the door and a compartment for storage as we head in on the passenger side now again you do have that power adjustable passenger side seat that is leather and heated very comfortable and you have that carpeted floor mat on the floor there you do also have a lockable glove box here and then again on the door your power locks windows and compartment for storage so if you guys are interested in this vehicle you want to take it out on a test drive or you have any more questions about it you can head on down to pinoca chrysler we have an excellent sales team and a great finance team wayne tapio we are located just on the south end of pinoca just off of highway 2a have a wonderful day guys thanks for watching